2013 could be the year when the increasingly entrenched smartphone duopoly of Samsung and Apple finally comes under attack. The battle commences this week at CES, the annual electronics trade show in Las Vegas, where manufacturers will unveil the latest handsets eager to catch the eye of notoriously fickle smartphone buyers. The biggest noise is likely to come from Sony, which is unveiling its first proper range of phones since the end of the joint venture with Ericsson last year. Sony is grandly calling the Xperia Z and its cousin the ZL Superphones, winding the clock back to the time of supermodels and supercars and perhaps only accidentally when the Japanese group ruled the high-end electronics market. Although the market itself will decide whether these latest Xperia's are indeed super, these devices will come as credible challengers in a fiercely competitive smartphone market where Sony has been languishing with only a single digit share. As customers now expect, the top range Xperia Z has premium specs, a fast quad-core processor, 13 megapixel camera and the latest Android operating system. But the important factor is the support of Sony's wider media and electronics business. Sony can offer its massive catalogue of media from films to music over these phones, as well as compatibility with the other ranges of consumer goods such as TVs and speakers. As you can see, it's quite easy to put up the latest movie, now coming through the phone, and then transferring it to the speaker. It can also be dunked into the water and used for up to an hour. These phones have been built with help from its other divisions, with crystal clear screens using Bravia screen technologies, low light cameras and great sound quality. To my mind though, the shape is far from revolutionary. It is a basic rectangle that is far removed now from the more rounded pebble-like devices from Samsung, Nokia and HTC. It is also not uniquely innovative enough to attract the Apple fanboys. It does everything very well, but this is everything we have seen before. Indeed, this phone feels unapologetically grown up rather than gimmicky, ideal for those already with living rooms equipped with high-range Sony TVs and sound systems that want that next piece of the jigsaw. The Z is a premium device, and while unlikely to go too far into the mainstream on its own, it is an important step back into the market for a company that has already got a brand and customer loyalty that provide a solid launch pad. Daniel Thomas, Financial Times.